Well, good afternoon. Uh, it's day 17 of hiking the Appalachian Trail, and I'm taking my second zero day today. Uh, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon, and I have not left this room yet. I've been editing videos and uh, just getting like everything ready for tomorrow, charging all my devices, uh, making sure I have everything good to go. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay inside most of the day. lunch today. So I've talked to Darren quite a bit uh, yesterday and today. Uh, he went to urgent care and they took an x-ray and um, they said they couldn't tell for sure if his arm um, is broken or his elbow but there, they said there was a lot of swelling and they put him in a cast anyways. So he's in a cast from his wrist to his armpit right now. Um, yeah. Um, I feel really bad that I can't be there to help him right now. Um, but he has a pretty good support system. We both do um, for a family nearby. So he'll be okay, but... Yeah, definitely wish that I could be there and give him a hug and whatnot. But. Well, I thought I should at least go outside at least once today. So here I am sitting on this cute little bench outside the hike in. I've been asked a couple times to kind of talk about how I got a leave of absence from my work. So I figured since I'm on my zero day, this might be a good time to talk about that. So I think there are a couple factors that played into me getting a six month leave of absence. Um, the first one being that I work at a university and so uh, the faculty there um, take sabbaticals all the time, so I think that the university kind of already has policies like set up for people to take time off. Um, it's obviously a different process because uh, I'm just staff, but um, you know they're already kind of used to people um, requesting you know big chunks of time off. So I think that played um, a pretty significant role into why they granted me this time. Um, However, like the university specifically um, wasn't the one who, you know, made that call. Um, it was actually my supervisors um, are the ones who like approved that. So um, what I did was, you know, I brought this to their attention um, a few months ago. Um, and going into the conversation, I didn't really know whether um, I was quitting or if, you know, they would be willing to give me a leave of absence. So I just sort of said, hey, this is something I want to do starting in like March sometime. And the first question they asked me was like, when am I coming back? So it was definitely a big relief that they wanted me back. Um, I think that's kind of the other factor that went into this is that, um, I'm a, a pretty good employee. I work really hard um, at my job and um, good work, good people can be hard to find. Rather than me quitting and them having to fill my position, um, they were willing to take on some of my responsibilities while I'm gone. I also did um, a lot of work before I left. Um, again, because I work at a university, there are um, certain things that happen at certain times of the year, and some of those things uh, can be done ahead. So pretty much anything that I could do ahead of time, I did. 
Uh, so I was working really hard up until like um, the Friday before I left for Georgia. Uh, going into it, I really didn't know how it was gonna work, but everything sort of fell into place and I just feel so incredibly blessed to be able to have this time and do this for myself. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. If I didn't explain um, something very well, I'll try to answer those in the comments. Well, the day is pretty much over and I've barely left this room, but I'm not mad about it whatsoever. Um, had a good day, um, just lounging around, editing videos, figuring out um, my mileage for the next couple days in the Smokies. Uh, my goal is to hopefully get through uh, in five days, uh, but we'll see. Um, tomorrow, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think all look like really good weather days. Monday, Tuesday, um, it starts to look like possible rain in like the afternoons and stuff. Um, but that shouldn't be too bad, but yeah. Hoping to have some decent weather. Um, and yeah, a lot of fun milestones coming up through that section. Uh, the highest point on the AT is at Klingman's Dome. Um, which is around the 200 mile mark. So yeah, lots of things to look forward to um, in the coming week. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is day 17 of hiking the Appalachian Trail. Mighty fine hiking, everyone. Bye.